EDC is supporting, and he is serving the Lord in um, New Zealand um, with Campus Crusade for Christ. So he's coming uh, from Hong Kong, so um, the mission committee wants to introduce him to you, and you can pray for him. Okay, so this is the time. Um, hi everyone. Hi. Good response. Um, just a quick uh, introduction. Uh, I'm married to my wife, one of them, just one of them. And um, she is not here. Apologies, she's at a wedding in another country, so apologies for that. And um, I just wanted to start out by glorifying God and thanking Him for uh, what He's done through this church in my life. Um, actually, most of you probably don't know me. I've been here about 14, 15 years ago as a teenager and grew up here. In this church, uh, in my faith, I've come to faith through the movement and the ministry of ACC. And I want to especially thank those who have invested in my life, like Mr. and Mrs. Weibel here, and also Mr. and Mrs. Uh, Part the Pardini family. Uh, they've really invested in my life uh, in turn for me to invest in others around the world. So I'm um, here to share briefly about what I do in New Zealand. And you might be wondering, why New Zealand? It sounds like the world's best paradise. Why is there a mission field there? But um, it may be the world's best paradise, but it is a very spiritually lost place. It has um, one of the first few countries in the, around the world legalize and celebrate prostitution and um, civil union, and so it may looks can be deceiving. Um, the mission that, that I'm, I work with Auckland University, which is in um, New, Ze well, obviously New Zealand, and I've been there for eight years, working full time as a missionary with my wife. And uh, the mission, our mission, is to change the world by turning lost students into christ center laborers through our movements on campus. And how we do that, in very brief, because I can't tell you everything, the, the methods and stuff, we want to win students to Christ, build them up in their faith, and send them to make multiplying disciples all over the world. And it has happened, and if you want to know more, you can uh, give me your email, I'll send you more newsletter. But I, I was asked to share a brief highlight and some of what I've learned in the ministry while I was in ministry. Um, what I've, uh, one of the highlights for me, uh, apart from working with my wife, is when I see students put their faith and trust in the Lord. It sounds simple, but so often I think we come to God and say, God, what can you do for me? You know, bless what I'm doing. Bless this and this. And so we put God in our box, but I get so excited and joy fills me when I see students start to go, I want to see what God's plan for this world is. And um, seeing that transformation probably brings the greatest joy for me. And what I've learned in the last eight years of ministry, I can sum it up in this, that Jesus Christ, apart from him, um, I can do absolutely nothing. Um, Apostle Paul said, Apollos, you know, planted, and yeah, I reaped, but God made it grow. And I'd say, um, every staff in um, student life in um, on Camps Crusade in New Zealand, uh, uh, we share approximately two to 300 uh, students individually and um, everyone would admit also that we have absolutely no power of bringing someone <coughs> to Christ. I don't think I've, I've, I've seen a lot of people ask if Christ comes to life, but I've never led anyone to Christ. And hopefully this would also encourage us here um, is, uh, to be a bold witness for Christ. Your boldness, not because you have great faith, but because you have a faith in a great God. Um, and lastly, I just wanted to show a little clip, uh, a two-minute a short clip on a brief uh, Introduction to our campus and a bit of uh, testimony. So, I think Katie was just really interested in actually the gospel with her, and she really responded to that. And she's just such an awesome friend and such an amazing person. I became a Christian through the movement of student life. Um, during the first week of university, I signed up with um, student life, and um, within a week, someone called me up um, to arrange time to meet up with me. And I met up with her and she shared the gospel with me. And at that time I decided to accept Christ and give my life to God. And so like when I think back, I often think like if that girl didn't take the initiative or didn't speak out of faith, speak out of her own comfort zone to share the gospel with me and got me involved in student life, I probably wouldn't be where I am with God today. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to show you guys who's uh, meeting the relationship with Jesus Christ is exciting, it's uh, life-changing, it's relevant, and it's available. So I hope you enjoy it. Uh, I can now find my identity and uh, 
He Christ who loves you. And it's as simple as uh, saying, Lord, I want you in my life. I want you to be, um, yeah, be my Lord, be my Savior. You know? Um, and I've also asked to share a brief um, a prayer request. Um, really, two things I would ask for. One, please continue to pray uh, that that my wife and I we would um, love the Lord and not um, not lose our first love. And secondly, is that we would fear God above all things, rather than men. It's so easy for us to obey what perhaps even our supporters want or what um, the people want, but we really want to uh, listen to the Lord. And so, please pray for those things. Thank you. I just came in here to uh, one more time introduce Johanna. Uh, when he was here, what's the name of your instrument? Trombone. Yeah. And he used something, uh, uh, some detect uh, data on the end. How do you put it? And then he performed several times, and we remember he was very excellent in that instrument. And now uh, he studied also in university uh, music, yeah, and he's using his uh, music uh, skills for his ministry. And also we are very pleased, uh, privileged uh, to support him because he has grown in each city. And uh, now he's here now, and we can connect him and to support him. So let, let's pray. Heavenly Father, Thanks for your grace and love, and thanks for your allowing Johanan to share his ministry this morning with our congregation. And thanks for your helping us to support him through our mission and outreach ministry and our teams. And I just uh, pray that your love and uh, comfort and peace and your keeping of uh, Johanan's ministry in New Zealand continuously. And also, I pray that uh, you keep him, guard him, and uh, continue to bless him, his ministry in New Zealand, where <coughs> recently the Christianity is lessening. And I pray that uh, through his ministry, new spirit and power will abound in New Zealand. Heavenly Father, thank you for your grace, and I just pray that uh, for Johan's ministry continues with very much fruit and also bless our church for us to help his ministry continuously. Thanks for your grace and uh, thanks for your wonderful love to our church and the Johannes ministry. In his holy name we pray. Amen.